Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fan edit and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on two apps which consist of Pixar and Fonto and all of these apps are really easy to use and I really recommend them because they are both affordable and really easy to make an edit on. So this is a, a collage edit so you will need to um, download any images that you would like to use in this. So just create a new project and go to collages and select all of your images you want to use and you can only use up to either 10 or 9 images so you might need to replace images that you don't like much as the other one to make it to your standards so just pick a certain grid type that you like and you might have to again replace or reposition any photos that aren't um, to the way you like it so just click on the image and then scroll down or scroll up scroll to the side wherever how the photo is done you will have to change it so then go to sticker and then search up gray and find a plain gray circle and this is going to add a really cool um, gray filter onto your grid so scroll out zoom out of your grid so you have a whole um, view of your grid and then get the gray overlay and zoom in so it's bigger than your grid and then turn the opacity down to like 39 or 40 percent and that's how it looks now to add a flare onto your photo scroll till you find lens flare and we're going to add a flare so just search for a flare that you like and the great thing about this is that you can add multiple flares to your photo so it doesn't have to be just one it can be as much as you want so just scroll out and then enlarge the flare to the way you like it and I didn't really like it so I just added another one so it would add more pop of color so I just again zoomed out and then rotated the flare and then enlarged it and I kind of wanted like a purple flare through my photo so I did what I liked it so then I went back to sticker and then I searched up aesthetic and I find, tried to find a aesthetic sticker for my edit. So I just found these really cute butterfly ones and then I rotated it so it would look nice and I added all these different other types of stickers. I added this face one but I wasn't too sure at the, at the end if I really liked it or not so I just kind of didn't press apply to any of these yet because I wasn't too sure again if I wanted it in my edit. So I just kind of found these really cute text message ones. Um, I deleted that facial one as well. And then I kind of found it, just found ones that would fit with a theme or that would um, go with my certain aesthetic appeal. So once I found one that I liked, I just kept on adding more until I liked the way it looked. And I added like all these cool Instagram tags, text messages, this Vogue title. And once I was like full on happy with it, I just pressed apply and I pressed next. And I was going to add my text on it now because Pixar doesn't have a full range of different text effects. So once it was ready for me to save, I just saved the image. And I went to Fonto and I pressed photo albums and then inserted the grid that, that I just made on Pixar. Then when it was loading, I just pressed anywhere onto the screen so then I could get a text pop up. And I also went and found some fonts that I liked. So you can go to thefont.com to download any fonts that you would like to put into your edit. I just found this one which is I think Marola so you can download that and I just put it onto the center of my screen and I really like this font because it just adds an aesthetic vibe um, to your photos. So that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys would like to see next.